are live here. So Benita, over to you. All right, thanks, Cindy. Um, my name is Benita Rogers. I'm in Western Montana. And today I'd like to talk to you about goal setting, but also about accountability. So um, together, my friend Deborah, who's on this call, and I are reading this Brian Tracy book called No Excuses. So there's a chapter in there about goal setting. And so I, I just copied a couple of things that, I, that really caught my eye. One of them is if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. I'm gonna say that again. If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Only 3% of adults have written goals. And this 3% earn more money than all of the other 97% put together. Uh, hope is not a strategy for success. And a wish has been defined as a goal with no energy behind it. Writing down your goals increases the likelihood of achieving those goals by 10% or 10 times. So I don't know about you guys, but I need all the help I can get. And I look for all the help I can get. So hopefully by now, you know, we've gotten our goals written down. We know what our monthly goal is. We know what our three month goal is, our six month, our year, our five year plan. And we're working towards those goals. But I'd like to talk today about mini goals. And so I have been fortunate enough for about the past, oh, two and a half years to have a fantastic accountability partner who is a diamond and has helped me tremendously. We have a Facebook page and every day, every at the end of the day, we get on our Facebook page, just the two of us, and report what we've done for the day. But recently she's brought a whole new game to the game. So she says, you know, let's get on and text each other in the morning and just share what our goals are. We don't do a phone call because a phone call gets into, oh, I'm going to do laundry and I'm going to bake brownies and I'm going to call a couple of people. You know, we, we don't do that. So all we do is we just get on a, a text and we say goals for Monday. And the, the goals have to be income producing activities, things that you know, you can't say I'm going to be on Bo and Cindy's power half hour. That's a given. That's not a goal. That's not, a, not one of your goals that you write down. But things like, you know, I want, to talk, I want to reach out to enough people that I can put tools in two people's hands. I want two people to look at a video. Or, you know, I want to do three follow-ups. Or I have a Zoom planned. Or, you know, maybe I'm going to uh, do a three-way call. Uh, things that are either income producing right then or are going to be leading to income, you know, in the near future. So then at the end of the day, you know, and her end of the day is earlier than my end of the day. So sometimes, you know, by eight or nine o'clock in the evening, my time, I get her results. And sometimes I don't even think she reads my results until the following day. But it's just, you know, goals met or goals not met. No explanation, nothing, you know. And, you know, maybe later on we'll do a Zoom or, you know, have, have a chat and discuss what's been going on. So I think that this has really kind of honed in what I'm doing on a daily basis. I just, you know, it's just to me a, a mini goal. So for the next uh, few minutes, I'd love to see you guys reach out to somebody maybe on this call and ask if they want to be an accountability partner. Try it for 30 days and see what happens. See if your productivity rises in those 30 days, if you can kind of focus in on what you're doing. Um, if there's nobody on this call that you connect with, you know, reach out to upline or downline or crossline or clothesline. I don't care what kind of line you look, look for, but you know, just find somebody who wants to do this with you. Shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. And then, you know, the rest of the 20 minutes, you can make calls or do whatever you want. But um, yeah, we'll see you in 20 minutes. Good luck.